In this demonstration, I'll use Vista TF to analyze the geometry of a centrifugal compressor in the early stages of its design process. At this point, I've generated the compressor's mean line design using Vista CCD and then refined the 3D geometry using Blade Editor. An explanation of this process is found in a separate video that overviews the capabilities of Blade Modeler and Vista CCD. Additionally, in Blade Editor, I've specified certain geometric properties to serve as input parameters in the design process. Now, I want to determine if my current design conforms to a certain set of essential criteria. Most importantly, I would like to determine the work coefficient and the Dehaller ratio for this compressor geometry. Although CFX is more than capable of doing this type of analysis, I can make my design optimization process more efficient by using Vista TF, a program developed by ANSYS partner PCA Engineers. ANSYS Vista TF is integrated into the ANSYS Workbench platform and acts as a two-dimensional through-flow solver. It fills the space between one-dimensional correlations and three-dimensional CFD, providing rapid initial analysis of rotating machinery before proceeding to more rigorous and detailed three-dimensional fluid flow simulations. After transferring the geometry and selecting setup in Vista TF, I can specify the solver settings, operating conditions, working fluid properties, and the initial conditions. For this case, I'll retain the default flow conditions. When the solver settings and starting conditions are specified, the problem is automatically transferred to the solver. Vista TF is a streamlined curvature through flow program for the analysis of all types of turbo machinery, but with special emphasis on single stage centrifugal machines such as radial pumps, turbines, and compressors. The through flow solver uses a two dimensional streamlined curvature method where losses are derived from correlations or user specified polytropic efficiency. Additional empirical methods are used to provide data for the loss production, for the boundary layer blockage, and for the derivation of the flow direction from the mean blade camber surface so that the effect of viscosity can be taken into account. In seconds, a solution is found and transferred to CFD Post for analysis. Upon opening CFD Post, you'll notice that the report has produced a table summarizing the quantitative data and the performance results for this geometry. As I scroll down the report, we can see some relevant contour maps showing the pressure, temperature, and solution error along the meridional plane. As well, blade loading charts displaying the Dehaller ratio, incidence, and variation have been generated by CFD Post. At this point, I have evaluated my impeller geometry using Vista TF and CFD Post. Now, I want to optimize the geometry to produce a target work coefficient with an appropriate Dehaller ratio. This can be accomplished using the parameter set tool in ANSYS Workbench. First, I'll designate my output parameters in CFD Post. To do this, I must first enter an expression for the Dehala ratio and the work coefficient. Now I can set them as output parameters. I can add a response surface to the parameterization bar, allowing me to perform a controlled optimization process. In the Design of Experiment cell, I'll select which input parameters will become my variables during the optimization. In this case, I want all of my input parameters to become variables during the optimization process. The optimization can be constrained and controlled in the Response Surface Optimization tab. In the Optimization cell, I'll tell Workbench to find a geometry with a target work coefficient of 1 while maintaining a Dehala ratio that exceeds 0.25. The Response Surface Optimization System will utilize the genetic algorithm to generate 4,000 initial sample points in the first iteration, followed by 800 sample points for each iteration thereafter until three candidate points, which fit the specified criteria, are found. Using the candidate points selected, I can confidently proceed with my optimization process and use the determined geometry in more rigorous calculations. This concludes this demonstration, overviewing the capabilities of ANSYS Vista TF in the context of early stage centrifugal compressor design optimization.